Good morning, everybody. Tonight begins the festival of Sukkot. By far the most awesome holiday of the year. I mean, they're all pretty awesome, but Sukkot is really amazing. And one of the things that, that we learn about Sukkot is that it is called, it's referred to as Zman Simcha Seinu, the time of our joy. You know, each one of the holidays, every festival in the Jewish calendar has a special energy that's attached to it. For example, Passover, Pesach, is the time of freedom. And Shavuos is the time of the receiving of the Torah. And those are spiritual energies that are available to us uniquely at that time. Simcha, joy, that's what Sukkot is all about. It's about filling our reservoir. Every joyful moment that we have, every aspect of simcha that we have throughout the year will draw its spiritual energy from the reservoir of simcha, of joy that we fill during the week of Sukkot. So it's all about joy. So what should you do to feel joyful? I have an idea. Leave your house, go out into the freezing cold in the rain and eat all your meals out there and sleep out there and, you know, freeze to death basically this year because it's going to be really cold and probably rainy. How is that joy? I would say joy would be, you know, forget the sukkah this year, sit inside, you know, make a fire, enjoy myself. How is the sukkah supposed to fill me with joy, especially under these conditions? So the answer is very simple. The greatest spiritual pleasure in the world, and therefore the greatest pleasure in the world, because infinite pleasure is so much more, so much higher than, than finite pleasure. The greatest spiritual pleasure in the world is knowing that you are protected by Hashem, that you're under Hashem's protection, that you're in the sukkah, and that you're living in a temporary structure, a, a, a flimsy structure, and really all the falsehood and all the illusion that we have throughout our lives, throughout the year, that we, we think that we're protected and we're safe because of our homes and, and our wealth and all the things that we have in our lives, we realize that we're very vulnerable. And it's that, it's that vulnerability and that, that admitting that it's really in God's hands. Our lives, our, our success, our failures, it's really all up to God. And when we understand that truly and deeply and internalize it, that is the secret of joy. That's the true secret of joy because then I know that I do what I need to do to play my role and I put in my effort and I make my human endeavor. It's called in Hebrew, Hishtad Lut. And after that, it's up to Hashem to determine how things are going to work out. Tremendous joy. You know, people love to go camping. I like to go camping. And, you know, what's, why would anyone in their right mind go camping? Leave their beautiful home, go out and sleep in a tent where there are animals and weather to deal with? And the answer is because of the vulnerability of it all. When we feel vulnerable, at the same time we feel that we're in Hashem's hands, in Hashem's protection. The sukkah is the divine embrace. You know, technically a sukkah only requires three walls. Think about it. When you embrace somebody, you have your forearm, or your, your, this part of your arm, whatever it's called, and your forearm, and your hand. Three walls. It makes a little sukkah around somebody. The sukkah is the divine embrace. So I want to wish everybody a chag sameach, a joyful sukkah. Fill up your reservoir to, to fill that tank of joyfulness and happiness and simcha that's going to be the source of joy throughout the entire year. And may we celebrate together and joyfully. Please come by. Stop by. Come say hello. We'll be sitting in the sukkah all week. And I hope everyone has a wonderful Sukkot. I will be back after the Chag is over. So it's Shabbos and Sunday. It's a two-day festival, Shabbos and Sunday. If anyone has any questions, what they need to do, please feel free to call before Shabbos begins. So I want to wish everyone a Shabbat Shalom and a Chag Sameach.